Barbie dream besties rise to fame, while Teresa, she knows she's got game. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into Barbie Dream Besties, Teresa. Here we go. So I am back with yet another Barbie Dream Bestie restyle and I am so happy to work on Teresa today and I already did like comparisons and all of that with Brooklyn so if you're interested in their proportions, what clothes do they wear and all that sort of information you can go over to Brooklyn's video because that was my first discovery of Barbie Dream Besties. So that's the video where I did all of the comparisons with other doll lines, which clothes they fit and all. So if you want to know all of that, click on that video to learn more about the Barbie Dream Bestie proportions. So today we have Teresa and Teresa's probably my favorite, I think, of all of the girls. So um, yeah, let's take a closer look at her because her outfit is just, ugh. I'm living for it. So here she is and you can already see she has so many things going on. So she has all of these hair clips that are red little ribbons uh, and there are two braids. So she has two braids in front and then these ribbons. How adorable. So I'm already thinking like, okay, I'm of course gonna give her a restyle. How am I gonna top this super cute hairstyle? Her hair is saran. It does have a pretty heavy... <laughs> Ace of box hair, as you can see, it's really crunchy. So I think it's somehow gelled, uh, but it has a slight wave into the hair. And I think it's just, it is, it is really cute. She has these headphones on with these bare ears, um, as you can see. And she has a necklace, a top, a short, and a, a shirt underneath. These are separate pieces and some really cute shoes. So it's not even like super pastel, but I just love like the shape of the clothes and the shininess. And uh, I wish, I wish this outfit came in like, you know, traditional baby blue, baby pink and baby yellow or lavender. That would have made this even more awesome. But yeah, I'm totally living for it. And I love that they paired it with like this teddy fur-ish material well not material but um vibe let's call it that so she is like the gamer girl of the bunch and her profile says hi i am teresa i love designing video games and leveling up my coding skills <laughs> yes 
Um, dream, start my own video game company. Uh, favorite activities, gaming, reading, gymnastics. Favorite class, calculus. Favorite color, coral. Favorite thing, my headphones. I love that she is just such a tech girl and I love that she wants to do video gaming and I, as a kid, have played many video games, so I'm feeling this Teresa very much. And I was always drawing like character designs in class and I wanted to design characters for video games so freaking bad. I, I think I'm kind of like a gay boy cliche. We just love a strong female leading character. So, uh, especially in a good pair of heels. My ultimate fantasy was like a combination of Barbie, Princess Peach, and like Katana from Mortal Kombat, or Chun-Li, or hmm, who else was like a character pick for me? All right, um, Nina Williams from Tekken, yeah. Teresa gets me. Teresa gets little gay boy Aryan me, you know? Uh, I would have made like the best friends with her in high school, definitely. We were probably the kids back in class, like sketching all of these character designs. <laughs> back to Teresa. Um, so she looks super cute. I love her face. I don't know, somehow she reminds me of like a super cute deer um, with this face paint. She's like very like autumn. She's giving me autumn in the face. I think because of her eyelids, because it's all like fall colors, it starts with yellow and it turns out like orangey or coral probably as she would say. Um, yeah, so I think it's pretty clear that I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> So let's take a look at her accessories. So she has this game on backpack with like the pads that you would see on a joystick, which I think is really clever. And it says game on. Um, it's all plastic and it cannot open. So it's not really like a functioning bag or anything. Then she comes with like her phone and this super adorable phone case. Okay, so this is her phone. It says game over and this is her phone case that has a teddy shape in, on the back. So everything is like very heavy on the teddy theme and I really love that. And then she comes with an actual teddy bear which is also just adorable. I mean, closed eyes on little figures like this just hits the kawaii button so hard. Yeah. <laughs> also, she comes with this translucent purple keyboard and it actually says Barbie with the 80s font on the top. And her teddy sunglasses or glasses or shades. So my only concern with these girls is that I probably have to reuse their shoes constantly. They can wear rainbow high shoes, some of them, because most of them are too big. Um, they can wear LOL OMG shoes, so might have to look back into that bin for some other shoe options. Otherwise, I will be reusing these for her look because I also think they're really cute. <sighs> okay, Teresa, I think it's time, girl. Let's head over to the salon and give Barbie Dream Besties Teresa her definitely deserved Barbie Nation makeover. Here we go.
Yeah, I had me some crazy fun with this one. <laughs> so first of all, uh, happy Halloween, I guess. I was just so inspired by just the whole fall autumn season. And um, I just really wanted to give her this witchy Halloween look because I just really think that she fits the package or the profile so very much. Here she is, Ms. Teresa, in her witchy getup. So usually I end up putting them in like full-blown pastel, super cute vibes, but this time around, I really wanted to do things a little bit differently and kind of like challenge myself, I guess, with a look. And I just visioned her like this in my mind and voila, she came to be. Of course, this is uh, partially the outfit from, I think, Moonlight BB. Uh, from LOL OMG. She has the mini fashion heart purse and underneath she has a rainbow high dress from Ainsley, I think. <laughs> I'm always so bad at these names of all of these characters. And the shoes, I have no clue where the shoes came from. They were in my black shoe box and 
I have no clue what doll uh, these are from originally and I just I have no clue but I am very happy I found them. <laughs> Um, I added some roses in the hair, some jewelry, and she was just good to go for her witchy Halloween adventure. Yeah. So the other looks were also pretty cute. Of course, we had the gamer girl. I had to do some gaming reference, of course, because she is that gamer girl in the Barbie Dream Bestie universe. So I had to give her like this Super Mario look, and that was really cute. Of course, she beat my ass. Uh, playing every game so <laughs> and next up I wanted to try a little more you know like basic model-esque look on her which I actually think also suits her very well so a beautiful classic white top with a pair of jeans and some cute sneakers I just thought that looked very cool on her uh, made her this beauty influencer and of course gave my mini me the super super extra makeover which is of course not real but you know for the fun of the video it was cute <laughs> so the trench tastic look that was really cute uh, the trench coat is actually from dolls of the world uk barbie and uh that whole series the passport series is just phenomenal let me tell you because they're all packaged in like these suitcases the dolls all have 90s bodies the outfits are amazing the quality is just so out there and i just think these dolls are the prettiest it's one of the prettiest collections to collect from barbie so the passport dolls of the world girls yeah really and i've actually managed to collect quite a few now and i should totally do a video on them yeah the only ones i do not have are the brazil barbie and there's another mexican version i have to i have the one with the dress but there's also this mariachi kind of like figure i also do not have her yet so um trench tastic and then final look and her ghost outfit <laughs> is this witchy look i definitely am going to keep her in this look i really just you know want to give off a vibe with each and every one of them so i think with teresa we definitely succeeded <laughs> So, of course, as always, let me know down in the comments below which look is your favorite. Did you like all of the looks or some of the looks? Were the looks you did not like on her? You know, all the tea about Barbie Dream Bestie Teresa. Let's continue the conversation down in the comments below. And, of course, also be on the lookout for the other makeovers I'm going to do with them. Currently working on Miss Malibu. And I am just such a fan of the Barbie Dream Besties. <laughs> Let me know your opinions and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah! Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course, the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah! big kisses from me and I love you all. Oh.